guys, let's get into my AM skincare routine. So the first thing that I do is always wash my hands. Make sure you are starting with clean hands. And then I go in with my cleanser. Now this cleanser has been my holy grail. I've tried really expensive cleansers and I always go back to this cleanser. It does not break me out. It's extremely gentle and very hydrating. Yes, make sure you get behind those ears to wipe my skin after cleansing. I've been using these bamboo wipes. I actually cut them in four to make them last longer. And if you don't want to purchase that, just go ahead and use a clean washcloth. This is so important. I think that toners are beneficial and there's something that I will keep in my skincare routine. At home, I use a cotton round. I've also tried the sustainable cotton rounds and they don't really work too well for me. But here I am in a hotel, so I'm using my hands. Now this next step I am not an expert in and that is everything related to serums. I typically use whatever serum is given to me in PR if I like it and it doesn't break me out and it is hydrating. So this is the hydration serum from Drunk Elephant and I like it. I like how it applies and I will continue to use it until it's empty and plus the packaging is really cool. This next thing I've started using consistently in the morning, and this is a light therapy device. And this helps to boost collagen, reduce wrinkles and fine lines. Y'all know that my eye area is my area that needs some more attention. And I feel like I have seen results from doing this. So I will continue to do this. And I also do my prayer in some quick meditation while the red lights are on. The next tools that I like to incorporate in the morning is my gua sha and my face roller. And they help to really shape the face over time. Just make sure that you invest in a real jade gua sha. So the roller that I have, I don't believe that that's real jade, but the gua sha definitely is. And there's a whole pattern on how to properly do this for your whole face. So definitely just go ahead and Google that. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this eye cream. It was gifted to me in PR and then I started going ahead and purchasing it myself, which uh, I'm actually going to stop. <laughs> purchasing this eye cream because it's not in my price range but I do think that the ingredients and I don't know I might have to find a way to keep this in my budget but I care definitely next let's go on to my lips now I like to do a sugar scrub and I got this from KNC Beauty and the packaging is just not the best at all. However, it's your classic brown sugar scrub. After that, I like to use my lip balm from Lano Lips. I am exploring some other lip balms, but I am going to use this up first. Then my La Roche Posay face cream is what I've been loving. There was another face cream that I really loved, but again, the price was just not feasible for me to continue to use it. I'll make sure I put a picture in for you guys. I finish up with an SPF. At the time of filming this video, I was obsessed with the Glossier Invisible Shield. I really still like that one. However, I did get some PR from Kiehl's and their sun serum is amazing. As the summer goes along, I'll be investing in a more cream-based SPF. Please let me know your favorite skincare products below. Make sure you shop these products down below and shout out to Fable and Maine for sending me this beautiful embroidered hair spa headband. Until the next video, bye.